Hey guys, this is Henry from Obedi again. Today we're back and we're going to be working on our Pro Tools edit tools. So today's edit tool is going to be the scrubber tool. Scrubber tool, very easy to identify. The icon looks like a little speaker, okay? Looks like a speaker. And what the scrubber tool does, um, this is, I guess, the function of the scrubber tool. Um, it's taken from the old days when we had tape machines. You could scrub, quote unquote, the tape um, by moving the tape forward and backwards slowly to find uh, an edit point or a mistake so that you could slice the tape and maybe fix it. Uh, just to find, pretty much to find errors, right? Uh, that you wanted to fix somehow. So, how does it work? Well, very simple. Um, if you select your scrub tool, and you, the way it works is that you you simply click on the on the clip using the scrub tool, and when you drag the mouse to the right, it'll play back the way it's supposed to be. Right? Let's give it a shot. Okay, so distorted guitars. Now, if I do it the other way around, if I click and move to the left, I'm gonna be playing back uh, reversed. Okay, now, one thing I didn't say, um, how fast am I moving my mouse to the left or to the right? Well, if you do it fast, it'll just play back at normal speed. But if you do it slow, if you move your mouse slowly, it'll actually play back slowly so that you can identify um, certain regions that you want to fix. So, for example, if I click and drag slowly to the right, check it out. So, yeah, it's kind of like if you were scrubbing that tape. You can also do it the other way around. But as soon as you start moving that mouse fast, it'll play back at regular speed again. So, check it out. Here's slow, and I'm gonna move it fast. So, if you had something, let's say, you don't know what's going on here. There's that little spike there. Well, what's going on there? Well, you can zoom in and then just scrub. And that way you could identify uh, s s certain spots. Now, if it was like, you know, a discontinuity or maybe a click or a pop, it will be easier to find uh, using this method. And then you can, if you want, you can delete it and maybe crossfade or do whatever editing you have to do in order to, um, you know, remove those errors or those little mistakes here and there. Um, now, typically, if you don't have this, if you just press play and you listen at regular speed or normal speed, you might not find where that spot is, but this scrubber tool will let you find it easier because it'll play back slower. So, that's the scrubber tool in Pro Tools. If you have any other questions, please call us from Obedient PC Audio Labs and we'll be happy to help you. We will see you guys soon. Bye-bye. Want to learn how to produce music using this, or using that, or using all of these? Have you been watching videos, reading manuals, blogs, and trying to figure out everything that it takes to be a music producer? Do you have a bunch of music gear that you purchased and you still haven't made any music? Well then you need Obedia, the world's only one-on-one -on -one digital audio training and tech support service. Check out the link below for a special new subscriber offer.